Hi, I'm Amy Chan from cakedecoratingschool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the sheet trays that we use. We use a couple of sizes, but generally all the same kind, right? So we're looking at these, some people call them jelly roll pans, some people call them baking trays. Doesn't really matter what you call them. They're a nice weight aluminum tray. You can see they have sides and a nice rolled edge on the top. And so there's a couple of reasons that we use these. The aluminum heats really nice and softly, the nice weight to it, right? The gauge of the metal, it's nice and thick. It'll keep it from warping and it's gonna give you a nice even heat, right? So if you find when you're baking things, especially on darker non-stick metal trays and you get, <laughs> you get those cookies that are burned on the bottom and raw on the top, there's a reason for that. That dark metal heats up really quickly and really hot, so you're burning the product that has contact with the tray while the stuff on top hasn't even cooked yet from the heat from the oven. So these will help solve a lot of those issues, right? Um, the rolled edge, right, will keep it from warping, so you get nice life out of these pans too. They're easily washed with warm soap and water, and the sizes allow you to do a lot of things. Generally, we use these for cooking, uh, baking cookies, brownies, bars, macaroons, other items like that. And they have a few other fun features besides the sizes. So you can get them even larger than this one at the bottom, which is about um, 18 inches, right? If you're measuring the outside by 13, you can get one that's double that size. That's a full sheet. For me, that's bigger than most um, ovens you're gonna get if you're home baking or in a small studio. Right, so I stick to the half sheet and below. So this is a half, a quarter, and an eighth, right? And they give me a nice functionality and nice sizes. Usually for cookies, I use the half. And so that cleanup is easy, I line it with parchment. So I just order the full size sheets of parchment, cut them in half, and then just a little fold, right, on the edge. And you have a perfect liner for your trays. It'll help with um, cleanup, but also helps give you a nice bake too, right? And one of the most important things about that rolled edge is then you can also cross stack them. So when I'm working on decorated cookie projects, a lot of times I'll have one stack on one side, decorating in the middle and another stack on the other, and I can just move back and forth as I'm working to make things more efficient. And this gives it some airflow underneath, right? So I'm not hitting the product and it's a little efficient, so I can just make myself these little stacks of trays. Uh, the other thing about the rolled edges too, a lot of baking sheets and trays you can buy for home baking don't have sides, which means when you're pulling it out of the oven, if you pull too hard and things aren't attached to the tray, they can come off and end up in the bottom of your oven. So this will save you a little heartache as well, right? And those are the main points and features right, about these aluminum baking trays. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out more, please check out our Instagram and our YouTube channel.